Hey YouTube, Joe here, just doing a quick update video. As you can see, I got a pile of goodies that we're going to go over here. As well as, take a look, I'm finally starting to get a little bit more organized. So that's one shelf, and again, the whole wall will eventually be covered in them, although these are the cheapest shelves I've ever seen in my life. But it hasn't fallen over yet under its own weight, so anyway. Uh, one quick update down that TV right there that I've been using. The component cables have no sound and the left speaker, which would be that one, the left speaker, will not give me any sound, period. So I think it's got some issues, but it still works with the AV cables, so I just can't test anything with component cables, uh, which is not... The worst thing in the world because it's not like I have that much that uses it so yeah all right I'm gonna turn this uh, some gum around and we will start the video proper so anyways guys how you doing let me move that so I think you can see me better there we go um, doing a quick update video pickup video and a question video for you guys uh, number one this stuff that you saw on the desk here is from a lot that I just purchased and I got it off eBay and it's eight pieces and I got all of it for 43 bucks. A little more than I wanted to spend but some turd was, you know, sniping it for the last 20 seconds trying to raise it but I already knew what I was going to pay because one of the things that it came with was a 3DS. This is a pink one. It powers on and I can force boot it to update, but it keeps going to that preparing home screen, preparing home screen, don't turn off your unit and then it will just shut off the screens and then it won't load. So I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, it could possibly be bad from what I'm reading. It would have to go to Nintendo. I think it's a up date problem it burns out something or it just it won't save this particular update i don't know i've tried uh loading the update with manual uh through the internet onto a micro sd card but that's not working so it's too bad because it's in really good shape otherwise and when i was able to do the forced update i figured that would do it but uh yeah, it will go to the screen and it will allow me to search for the update. It downloaded the update, said it was up to date, and just goes and freezes on that screen. Doesn't matter. Now i got a really good parts one because I know the screens work. I know the 3DS works. I uh, may have to just change the motherboard, but I can find one that's got busted screens or something and swap everything over. Um, yeah, pardon me. It's about midnight, so I'm a little tired. Next thing that I've been fuddling with is a white DSi. Uh, no stylus on any of these things, which is kind of a shame. But uh, this screen is only slightly better than the one in the blue one. However, I think this is the one I'm going to keep. I'm going to reshell the blue one and put a new touchscreen in that one. I am going to put a new touchscreen on this one, of course. But uh, the problem this one had was that the game slot in the back was not releasing any of the games. So all I did, come on, turn off your turd. All I did was I opened up the back and I monkeyed with the slot. So now you just gotta pull it out manually, that's all. Goes in, system sees the game and it works fine. So. At the very least, I'll probably get, you know, 25, 30 bucks for the blue one, which will pay for the blue one, which I paid $10 for, and then some of this lot. Next is a yellow Game Boy Pocket, or excuse me, Game Boy, Game, Game Boy, Game Boy. It's a Game Boy. Oh, you should see that guy. He's a wonderful guy. Anyways, it's a yellow Game Boy Color. Screen worked, but the sound didn't. I opened it up and the speaker is just completely, I don't know if that will focus in, but completely crudified. So I'm going to try cleaning it off. Uh, that's why this headphone's in my ear and I'll take that out because I don't need it. But the uh, headphone jack works with the volume control. So at first I thought maybe the uh, volume control was bad, but it's not that. So I may take the speaker out of something else and wire it in or yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do.
So that's what I was working on. I'm going to finish disassembling the system and then give it a super duper clean and then slap it back together and call that one done. Um, the glass on the screen is a little scraped up, but those are pretty cheap on eBay. Uh, this one is the wonderful, what is this, the Grape Game Boy Advance. However, it doesn't turn on. Um, the terminals don't look very good inside. I mean, they're very corroded, so I'm going to have to open up the system. Hopefully, it didn't get the motherboard too bad. But if it fried the motherboard, then what I'll probably wind up doing is I'll just completely disassemble this thing and just do a custom paint job on it and hold on to it for another unit. That way, it'll be ready to just put back together. I uh, got a AGS001. Uh, what is that lava red or dark red? However, I do not own an SP charger. I know that's kind of weird, but up until today I've never owned an SP so I'll have to get a charger for it and then plug it in and see how it works uh, The screen is Not in the greatest shape. It's got a pretty good scrape on it, but I'll I'll see if it works if it works then I'll uh, maybe do like the really cheap mod you know, where you use the front light screen instead of the back light screen. Don't know. Haven't decided yet. I uh, got this one. It's a red and black. And it does power on. But as you can see, that, uh, that top screen is just balls. So I'm going to use the system as parts. Um... Yeah, I put in a DS game and it worked, but the GBA slot wasn't working that great, but it just looks like it really needs to be cleaned and maybe a couple of the pins aren't lined up, so I'll take care of that. And I'm going to use all the parts off this on second Mario uh, edition. However, this one is in really solid shape, and it will read GBA games, but... Uh, it won't load anything off of the DS slot, so I looked inside and it looked like maybe a pin was bent, so I'm going to go through it and see what I can do. But yeah, you see there it says a save data cannot be loaded. Not sure what the heck that's about. So um, yeah, worst case scenario, I'll swap a motherboard from one of these other ones out, make another complete unit and flip that one and sell it. And then I got this silver one, which is just very dirty it powers on for like a microsecond I don't know if you saw it there the screen will flash and then it'll shut back off so there's definitely something wrong with it probably with the motherboard but I will pop that out and see if I can get this to work on something else I'm thinking this time I'm gonna do a silver Mario edition uh, DS but we'll see I haven't fully decided so yeah that was that pickup I've just been monkeying with these for the last little bit. Now, I won this bid on eBay, but I noticed that it said that the seller was in West Virginia, in Martinsburg, which is about 25, 26 miles away from me. So I contacted the seller and said, hey, look, I live in Winchester, literally down the freeway from you guys. Do you mind if I come pick it up? You know, it saved them $7 in shipping. Obviously, it's a little bit less because they have their eBay seller, whatever. And he emailed me back and said, sure, come on out down. So I went to his shop. He is a retailer, reseller. Um, not a big shop, but quality stuff. His prices are retail, but they're not nearly as bad as that other place that I'm not going to mention. And again, I didn't ask if I could use his name in a video, so I'm not going to. Sorry. Um, maybe after I talk to him, because as we were talking and he asked me what I was going to do with all these, I said, yeah, I'm going to go through them and try to fix them and see what I can do with them. He said, oh, okay. Well, do you do only the handhelds or do you do other systems? And I said, well, I can do other systems and I'm looking for other systems. He says, okay, uh, let me get your number. And what he's going to do is in his basement, He's got a ton of 360s that are red ringed and some PS3s that are yellow lighted. Yellow light, is that the right term? Yellow light of death. Yellowed. They're yellowed. So he's going to put together a price for a 
big bunch of them and i told them you know obviously if you search them on ebay yellow ring lights and red ring systems are 10 15 dollars ish so if he gets me a few systems obviously if he gives me all the cables and the controllers for each system that would be preferred but if he just gives me the systems then we'll adjust accordingly while i was there i did pick up um i think it's over on my table but a memory card for the gamecube as well as a av cable for the ps2 because the cables i had were component and as i said my tv is not putting out sound and i kind of want sound so that i can make sure all the games are working right and the systems are working right so yeah he gave me that for 4.99 and a gamecube memory card for 4.99 however i can probably get one i know where there's some a bunch at a flea market for a couple of bucks but i wanted the card today because i was playing soul Calibur 2 and i wanted to save it so that's about it uh my question to you guys and by you guys i mean both subscribers as well as anybody who happens to stumble across this video is what is your favorite type of gaming i know a lot of people are into rpgs a lot of people are into shoot 'em ups or shmups i personally and I've said it a bunch of times in different videos. I'm into cars. So I'm very into car racing games. In fact, after I hooked the PS2 up, uh, all I've really been playing has been Gran Turismo 4. Um, mainly because the sound doesn't work. And Gran Turismo 4 is the easiest one to play without sound. But I also have Gran Turismo 1, 2, and 3. So maybe I'm going to start at the beginning and run through those again. But by far the game that I played the most was Forza 4. And I didn't realize how much until I looked at the track records. And, you know, when you have your gamer tag on there, it tracks how well you do on each track. And it turns out I'm in the 1% for every track in every class. So that shows you how long I've been playing that game. And, uh,. I, I loved designing and you know putting together track cars and things like that to build to to break the lap records. So that's my genre. I'm into racing games. What are you guys into? So leave a comment down below. Uh, if you like my videos, please feel free to like it. If you don't like the videos, um, you don't have to click the unlike button. I mean, I know there's a thumbs down button, but hey, you know what? Uh, let's see. What did I say last time? Every time you click it, God kills somebody. Uh, every time you click the, uh, thumbs down button, somewhere in the world, somebody loses a testicle. So, yeah. Some people, uh, some people don't have two testicles anymore and actually that's what happened to Lance Armstrong yeah he he uh he disliked somebody's video and lost a testicle and then you know the rest is history so there you go uh I'm really tired that's why I ranted and rambled ranted I didn't rant I, I rambled I babbled like a brook brook shields shields up captain anyways all right so Talk to you guys later. I'm going to finish putting some of this crap back together and go home and sleep and get up and go to work. See you guys.